Welcome to the Distribution Resource Integration and Value Estimation Tool tutorial on conducting a feeder hosting capacity analysis. Now that you have successfully extracted data from a particular feeder model, you are ready to analyze the feeder for hosting capacity. In the Drive tool, you will first need to choose the directory where the extracted data exists. When you click on either of the additional buttons in the main window, it will create a list of feeders currently in that directory. If data is created for new feeders, those feeders will not show up in the list until the button is pushed again. Once you are ready to conduct the analysis, click on Conduct DR Hosting Capacity Analysis. In this new window, there are some variables that need to be set. These include the thresholds for which DR impact must not exceed. Keep in mind this is DER hosting capacity, so impacts based on load and generation are both examined. This is why undervoltage has an evaluation threshold as well as thermal issues due to additional load. The hosting capacity will be determined for each issue regardless of whether the issue will be considered as a potential constraint. The decision about which issues to include in the final hosting capacity assessment is made when viewing the results. There are additional options available when selecting advanced options. These top two analysis parameters define how high to analyze for hosting capacity on feeders that are less than or equal to 15 kV and also for feeders that are over 15 kV. The multiplier for determining the maximum small distributed DER penetration is required in the analysis of distributed customer-based DER such as rooftop solar. A multiplier of 1 defines that the maximum penetration analyzed is equal to the amount of load on the feeder. These previous three variables are all important because if no adverse impacts are determined by the defined maximum penetration, the maximum penetration will be recorded as a hosting capacity value. This is to define that higher penetrations have not been analyzed. The DER penetration increment for analysis defines the step in penetration when calculating hosting capacity. Smaller steps will result in longer simulation times. The minimum and maximum ratings for the analysis are defined to exclude erroneous values that could occur in the model. Including losses in the analysis impacts the hosting capacity results for voltage issues. The option to include losses is available as the impact has been observed to alter hosting capacity. However, at this time, this version of the drive tool, the assessment is still undergoing further refinement. Including existing DER in the analysis is an option to give the user the ability to determine the total feeder hosting capacity or just the remaining feeder hosting capacity. Finally, the user can define the future DER type to analyze. This comes with a power factor variable as well as several predefined DER characteristics. By choosing custom characteristics, the user can manually define the DER fault current magnitude and the DER output variability. There are two characteristics for output variability to distinguish the difference between short-term voltage deviation and potentially longer-term overvoltage and undervoltage impacts. These variables can all be manually set or the user can save and load the settings from the interface. Alternatively, the user can modify the drive configuration file, which will populate all settings when the program is launched. Finally, the user is ready to run the hosting capacity analysis by either processing all feeders in the working directory or by selecting to process an individual feeder from the working directory. When processing a feeder, Four new CSV files are created and saved to the working directory. These files include the bus-by-bus -bus results for each evaluation criteria needed for the visualization and post-processing of results explained in the next tutorial.